Thank you, folks, for sticking with us. Uh, people are still coming in from the, uh, the different rooms. We'll start just in a in a little bit. One of the rooms is just uh, finishing, so uh, people are coming in. Just give it uh, another minute or so. Thank you for, for everyone who uh, stuck with us in this virtual meeting. And, um, you know, there's uh, so many ways that a virtual meeting um, is different than a in-person meeting. One of the most annoying ones is that in a real meeting, when you want to go over, it's okay. You know, like a session can go over a little bit and then you can catch up and make it up and maybe have a break that goes a little shorter or just lend the, have the day go a little longer, but that's ends up being really complicated in a virtual meeting. So it, anyway, but thanks for sticking with us nonetheless. Um, HARC 15 is coming to our close now. And um, there's several things I'd love to uh, to relay. Uh, first is that uh, if you haven't seen the posters yet, they're, they're still up and they're gonna be available to you and they're online going forward and that you can still see them. Um, the speaker materials and slides and recordings uh, are going to be posted over the next couple of days, actually fairly soon. And so, if there were sessions that you missed or the things you wanted to look back at, they'll they'll be they'll be available. Um, another another thing, actually, this is quite key, is that you're going to receive a, a link to an online evaluation uh, by email. And it really would be great if you would fill these out. It's, uh, it's very useful for us. We need to learn how to adapt and improve. We'd love to hear suggestions um, for, for ideas um, for future meetings. Um, there are also benefits for virtual meetings. So if you, you, know, you want to vote to keep it virtually um, versus uh, being in person, let us know. Um, or for topics. Uh, uh, that you want us to focus on, uh, or for particular people that you'd love us to invite, um, either to you know speak in a session or or as a keynote. Um, uh, it, I, I'm completely open. We're completely open to suggestions and I, ideas. We'd love to hear from from new folks. Um, uh, so far, we've been able to have, uh, even though it's been 15 years, so far. Um, uh, <laughs> We um, have to, so far we've been able to have new people each year uh, for, for the main talks and not repeat repeat offenders. Um, uh, I don't know if, 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 if that's a good thing, Victoria, um, that we got you out of trick-or-treating, if that's good or bad. Um, and, um, you know, I would say um, maybe the way you wrote that, oh, it's good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go home on the East Coast uh, in the uh, in in uh, in the U.S. and uh, hand out candy. I'm I'm one of those people who usually says you got a trick. You're gonna I'm, I'm gonna give you a trick. You're gonna have a trick. And that, but but kids kids don't often have a trick anymore. They just want they just want the treat. It is what it is. You gotta you gotta adapt. Um, so. Um, but Hark also has to adapt, and so if it's if it's going to stay lively, I don't know if people heard um, my uh, our, uh, discussion with Mike Wolf, but many of you maybe did, and um, I would say that um, it's going to take um, it'll take you know bringing more people into this field, more people uh, into health literacy to keep it uh, to keep it going, to keep it be exciting, um, to have new ideas and uh, continuously come in, new energy. 
um, this is not um, this is not going to be able to fly just um, on on uh, on our own. We're going to need to have more people coming in. Um, uh, someone just joined me as a speaker. I'm not sure who you, who's there, but you could say hi and tell us who you are, just as speaker. Um, don't know who just joined it's, there. It's... Lori. Yeah, it's me. Can you hear me? Oh, now I can hear you. Okay. Uh, Lori has been with me, with uh, with Hark with with me throughout, and now she's uh, commuting. Um, it looks like on uh, the train. Yes. So, um, Lori, thank you so much. You know, you've been you from the beginning when I said, "Hey, let's do Hark." You said, "I like planning parties. I'm a party planner," and uh, but it's not the same virtually. Just not the same. No. But, uh, uh, well done, Laurie. No. <laughs> Congratulations again. Um, maybe we'll be back in person at some point. I don't know. What do you think? That would be great. That would be really great. I miss seeing everybody and hearing all the conversations. It'd be nice to see people in person. So we're gonna we're gonna have to figure that out. See if we, if that can be done. Um, you know there are pluses and minuses. Like you know we we uh, we have people in from who are online today. You know from the UK, from Singapore, um, from um, from the West Coast. You know so like uh, they were able to participate without having to you know get on a plane. Uh, maybe they wouldn't have been able to do so. But at the same time. Um, if we had been in person, then we could have had a poster session this evening. And for Puerto Rico, thank you. I'm sure we have other places too. Um, uh, th uh, thank you, Marissa Bell. Um, and then, uh, it, and uh, you know, if we had been in person, maybe we would have gone trick or treating together uh, in DC or something like that. Yep, California. So um, uh, we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay on. For a bit and uh, Lori, you let Lori do her commute. Um, people who want to uh, type into the, the chat um, or the Q&A, either way, any any questions? Yes, I forgot we have multiple people from Alberta. Um, I was teasing some of you earlier because I, I just love the accent. Um, but um, <laughs> um, but um, you know, thank you for people and <laughs> For, for people who've been on uh, with us for, for HARC uh, number 15, um, if people want to send me a, a send chat for ideas uh, or just write us, and in any case, you'll have the opportunity in the evaluation. Um, we kind of don't are, are not happy if we don't get the evaluations. So it really would be great if you would if you would send them in. And um, Uh, thank you, thank you, Janet, for for your feedback there. Um, uh, and uh, remember, I I also you know I'm I'm double dipping here. I really would love to get your manuscripts to review them and to uh, to help you get them published uh, at Health Literacy Research and Practice. Um, oh, maybe a hybrid mode, yeah, in Puerto Rico and remotely. Um, thank you. Uh, yes, Victoria. Thank you for for joining from afar. Um, you know, there's a there's a there's a research network in uh, in England and uh, for health literacy, and I'm I'm you know I'm there's just uh, blossoming research networks in various parts of 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 the world. So we really it'd be great to grow health literacy. Um, uh, Sean, it's it's true. I I really do think that there's a special role for librarians that haven't been tapped. To connect into um, public health, uh, in particular, that's a little obvious, but also even into healthcare uh, in in interventions. Um, so if you if you if you want to get involved with research in that respect, I, I think I have people to connect you to. Um, one of the things that can happen with in person work is uh, when we have in person sessions, is it's just easier to make connections for people for for research and for, and for interventions of practice and, and practice improvements. And so um, you have to be a little more assertive when it's online to like send people emails and say, hey, I want to follow up with this idea or I want to follow up with that idea. And thank you, Shirley and Federico. Um, and uh, um, yeah, we, we uh, in terms of upcoming events, um, 
uh, I, I believe by being uh, registered to this event that you you can uh, also get uh, messages for for upcoming events. So hopefully uh, Federico's comment will will be taken care of. Um, that'd be great. Um, so Laurie, be well. I'll I'll be seeing you soon. But um, congratulations and. Thanks again for helping me make it make it work. Yeah, Lori's confirming that the distribution list for events um, will be will include folks unless you opt out. Um, so that sounds good. Awesome. All right. Well, send me your send me your papers. Uh, and uh, don't be afraid. If you're concerned or if you have a question about it before you want to send it, that's fine too. You can send me a note saying, hey, is this fitting? Or uh, what do you think? Um, and, uh, um, you know, we really do have to work together to help grow this field. I, I, I don't know, if, a couple of times in different sessions during the course of today, people pointed out how much gray hair I have. Yeah, it's true, uh, and it's it's accurate. I do have a lot of gray hair, um, <laughs> but uh, that means that we need more more people coming in um, in in the front door. I'm not ready to retire yet, but uh, still, it'd be great to have uh, new energy and new ideas. Um, and so we're we're not kind of just spinning our wheels with uh, um, with stuff that hasn't worked well enough yet, frankly. Okay, well with that. I'm gonna we can we can sign off. I don't don't see new new postings there. Oh, by the way, this this picture is from Puerto Rico. Marissa Bell, this this picture and this this um rainbow is was from Puerto Rico. All right, good. I'm. Okay, be well. Bye-bye.